Hold on there, Chris Bell. I am not quite sure the shoe can... This seems like perilous terrain. A strange room... Hold on there. Hold on there, Chris. about me that true Most cultures avoid such places due to the great risk of a painful death, the Cinderians have embraced it. Not only does the lava heat the Great Forge, but it's used for glassworking and other crafts. Would you like to know more? What's with that giant red rock out there? Seriously? You're standing in a city, inside a volcano, and you're blathering about a larger than average rock? What is wrong with you? It's a really big rock, with a tiny house on top of it. It's got to be important somehow. Just try to enjoy the view, quietly, okay? Visitors, it's been a long time since we've had any. I'll keep my eye on you. Here you go. Wait, what? What is this thing? Vera, don't just run off like that. Sorry, young man. She's just excited about the Lantern Festival. Lantern Festival? Oh, you're travelers, of course. It's an old tradition. Once a year, we fill these lanterns with the memories of those we have loved and those we have lost. Then, we release them, lifting their souls to the clouds. Just like this. My Fira, you should have waited for the speech over by the first citizen's house. Come, let's get you another one. Oh, my dear Fira, you are such an airhead. Are there always this many? Yes, well, it has not been a good year. There have been so many sick with the glass lung. Anyway, we need to be up. Bye, mister! Welcome to Cinder, or at least what remains of it. It's so beautiful. Oh, my dear. Looks like this part of town has seen better days. Is it just me? Or are a lot of these goblin people sick? Is that... It can't be them. This medicine will help you feel better. I promise. You need to trust me, okay? I trust you. <coughs> princess. Princess? Thank you so much, Princess. <clears throat> Where would we be without you? I think we got to him in time. But barely. The glass lung is everywhere. If that bastard had closed the forge earlier, this wouldn't be happening! We should... Calm yourself, sister. You're not wrong. But the forge is closed now, and it's still happening. 
This area is not even the worst of it. Still, there's no excuse for letting our people die. We need to keep moving. Try to save as many as we can. The Volcano Sisters? Helping people? This is unexpected. I don't like unexpected. We have to follow them. I'm detecting a high energy concentration west of here. Come on then, let's go. I can't. I'd probably be dead if it wasn't for the print. Welcome. It's only 200. No, thank you. Oh. I wouldn't advise going past this point. You'll only find the old palace. That thing hasn't moved in. Hold it right there, foreigner. Passage here is restricted until we hear otherwise. You seem like you come from far away. Have you met any of my sisters, Mew? You appear to be similar to the vendor Neva Tulira. Is your name also Elizabeth? Of course! So you have met my sisters, Mew? We've been to Neva Tulira and St. Clarity already. I guess both the shop owners there were your sisters? You have a wonderful family. What a sweet thing to say! You deserve special treatment. Here, this is on the house. Welcome, welcome. We have I don't know why the first citizen even allows that workshop back here. What a waste of resources. The controls for the levees are passed here. Don't miss around with the equipment. It's been a while since I've been allowed to do forge work. I wonder when I'll be allowed to do it again. Seems like... Foreigners. If you continue past here, you will reach the first citizens. Go too far in any sense, and you'll find yourself in the cemetery. Seems like something is happening up ahead. We should get closer.
It is indeed a beautiful... Even after all these years, it would... On this day, the day of the Lantern Festival, we honor the dead. Here, as the Millennium Rock bears silent witness, we release the souls of the departed, carrying with them our cherished memories and silent prayers for a journey of peace. I told you that was an important rock. The glass lung has taken much from us all. For far too many, it has taken everything. Though I acted as swiftly as possible, shutting down the forge, there are many among us who are afflicted. Our hearts go out to all those who have lost loved ones. Let their memories be honored today. You may release your lantern. A fine speech? Eh, I'd give it a six. Hey, I wrote that speech. It deserves at least an eight. You're... We met in St. Clarity, didn't we? I'm glad you found me so memorable. I'm Finia, wife of Azufra, the first citizen. Well, uh, it's nice to meet you. Again, I mean, I'm Christopher. A pleasure, Mr. Christopher and company. As I recall, you have some connection to the ruby trade in St. Clarity. Is that correct? Perhaps you would have some time to... What is a first citizen? My husband, Azufra, was given that title by the people of Cinder at the end of the revolution, as he led our people to the victory and freedom they deserved. Is this part of the event? I don't recall... I'm detecting a strange energy discharge from this lantern. These... Ah, now I understand. It appears... Are all these people going to die? No, there must be something I can do. There must... <sighs> what? What happened? Everything has stopped. I don't know what happened, or if it'll last. But maybe it'll give me enough time to disarm the bomb. What in the world? It appears Chris Bell disarmed the bomb in the square. There are additional bombs. <coughs> this weird smoke is stinging my eyes, and I can barely breathe. We need to get out of here. This gas is rich in atomized crystal particles. If inhaled in sufficient quantities, the effects could be dangerous to many organisms. Uh oh, guys, I'm feeling dizzy. I think I inhaled some. Hang on, boy. Try not to breathe. As much as possible, at least. Now the square is under attack. <laughs> what? What were those? Feral goblins. Average, upstanding citizens suddenly devolving into mindless beasts. We need to get the two of you out of here. Guards! Escort Fenia to safety! Yes, sir. I'll stay here and coordinate the retreat. My place is on the battlefield, not up in some ivory... Hurry up, you clods! Get me out of here! I detect higher ground to the west. 
I advise quickly get Christopher. Christopher, no, what just is. to get him some help. Hey, guys! Over here! We can help your friend! At least, I assume he's your friend. Maybe he's only an acquaintance. Anyway, you seem to want him not to die. I guess we don't have much choice. <laughs> Shut the door! Don't let the smoke inside! You can lay your friend down over here. What can we do? What's wrong with him? There's not much anyone can do. He's probably got glass lung. Unless he was like this when he got here. That'd be weird. I guess it doesn't matter since we don't have an actual cure. This might help a little, though. <coughs> yes! It is glass lung! I mean, that's bad. But it also means it's the right medicine! It's traditional Nomada medicine. It should help with the cough, for a while at least. Until it doesn't. For now, though, try to get some... Thank you so much, both of you. I'm Chris Bell. These two are Wilhelm and JKR721. Kate for short. I'm Zass. That's Jaru. Don't let him fool you. He may look tough, but deep down... What about Christopher? There's a cure for glass lung, right? We saw someone... The princesses have something that helps, but... It's in very short supply. Besides, they never wasted on a human. But that's... Isn't there anything we can do? Don't be so dramatic. He's not going to die or anything like that. I mean, he will... Eventually. Just not right now. In the long run, though, not that long of a run, actually. Like, a lot sooner than if he didn't have glass lung. Sorry. That... That can't be possible. There... Hmm... Well... I'm not a medic or anything like that, but I know someone that knows someone that is. Maybe. I heard a rumor that someone is going around Sinisa curing people. Sinisa, the original capital of Cinder, prior to the Cinderian Civil War. Located close to the Great Forge. Yeah, that's the one. They're even worse off than we are. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. Let's go right after my... <laughs> A nap. Christopher, you need Zas. We're going to go to Sinisa and look for this medicine. Can we count on you to watch over Christopher until we return? You have to be kidding me! If you're going to Sinisa, then for sure I'm going with you! Jaru here will watch over your friend. I will? I mean... <laughs> One of us should stay behind to help watch over him. I suppose, as his men... <coughs> Are you able to engage in combat? <laughs> Just you wait and see. I've been surviving on my own in this city for years. Hang in there, Christopher. We'll be right back. I
Welcome, welcome. Hold on there, Chris. Well, this is a most troublesome situation. Shall we make a record? I want to... Levies. A wall that can be raised if required. From what I could gather, seems like the city's geothermal activity is high. Those walls were likely used to prevent the city from being overrun by the lava. But it seems like they haven't been used in a long time. Oh, for sure they haven't. After everything that happened in Ceniza, the people stopped using them. The flow of lava always went towards Ceniza, leaving Cinder free of the danger. So they just went with it. Seems logical for the current situation. It is not. There are people in Ceniza still. They have no right to do that. That's Cinder for you. And things are only going to get worse, so get your weapons ready. Seems like... It's been a while since I've been a... Right there. Hold on there, Chris. make this much of a difference the forge is often described as the heart of this kingdom and its only true source of industry without it the economy simply collapsed sure but also the glass long plus the whole feral goblin thingy feral goblin th it's a technical term sometimes people just go feral remember those goblins that attacked the square and 
It's especially bad here in Sinisa. Having heard this, I'm curious to know what drove you to accompany us to such a dangerous place. You see, Dad is... was a great nomad researcher. The best one! He was trying to create a cure for the people in Cinder. Until he was... killed. Sass. Don't worry. That's all in the past. Besides, I figured whoever's here curing people might know something about my dad's re- So I thought, why not give it a shot? With the rumors about someone looking for a cure, I figured there might be some connection. I've been wanting to investigate, but this place is- I detect organic life form. I infer from your past actions that we will be helping. This is a good opportunity to test your capabilities. I've got a trick or two up my sleeve, or in my bag, which my sleeve does go into, like partway. You'll see. A trick? Just watch. Let me show you how I deal with guys like these. selecting what you pull out of your bag? Sort of. Well, not exactly. Mostly no. Not even a little. I don't need to. It's totally a special bag. I can pull all sorts of stuff out. I just never know what it's going to be. That's a little... weird. Eh, I've seen weirder. Besides, you get used to it. your device work my bag i don't really know it used to be my dad's so your weapon of choice is a bag of random object yep it's more fun that way this is horrible those brutes used to be normal people yeah we don't know why but it happens sometimes isn't it crazy cinderians turning feral <laughs> weird right I find it strange that you do not appear worried. Your friend Jaru... Yeah, I hadn't thought about it that way. Best not to dwell on the negative! You are very peculiar, Zaz. <laughs> it's just how I am! Uh... Mister... They were gonna kill us! It is our pleasure to prevent you from being torn apart by feral goblins. Excuse me, but... Have you heard about anyone around here trying to cure Glass Lung? Um... I saw someone with a medicine bag. They went northeast a couple minutes before you folks are... And there's our first lead. Let's get going. Thank you again. I was so scared. <coughs> I can't help but remember what we used to be. Kingdom that was the pride of goblin folk everywhere. <laughs> but ever since the glass lung, <coughs> fallen. Hmm. There seems to be a lock on the other side.
seems to be a lot. Bell, what do you want to do? I want to record.
Just, when I followed Azufra during the revolution, I was hoping for a better future than this.
Crisbell, what do you want to do? I want to re... who has been running around trying to cure glass lung. Wait a second. You're a research assistant, aren't you? Yes. Or at least I was. I've been testing out a few prototypes of a new medicine I've developed. And I've been assisting her along the way. Lau? What are you doing here? For the millionth time, Zass. Please call me Mother Superior. You're the Mother Superior here. And my name is Arola. I'm a researcher who's been studying the glass lung. Finding a cure has been my life's work. Please, could you give us some of that medicine too? Our friend is very ill. I'm sorry, but I don't have any more to give you, even if I wanted to. Can you not create any more of it? The medicine is extremely hard to make. It took me months of work just to distill those first few samples. 
We... we don't have months. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. It's been a lifetime of research, but... There she is. The rebel goblin I've been hearing about. Guards! Wait, there must be some mis- Please, Azufra. Try to understand. Arola hasn't done anything wrong. There's no mistake, Lau. My people spotted her sneaking around Seniza, plotting who knows what. Frankly, I'm surprised someone of your stature would associate with someone like this. She's only trying to help the poor people of Seniza. You have to understand. <laughs> a likely story. She's a rebel, and she... No, Azufra. This one belongs to the Empress. You. Oh no, not these two again. They have to save Arola. Come on. You guys again? Always getting in our way. Don't think things will play out like last time, you little pests. The Empress has gifted us a new device, which will stop your meddling. There's no way you can defeat me.
Annoying. Where's that little grunt when you need her? Sorry for the delay. Kari? Finally. You took your sweet time. Mind your own business. I've got more important things to do than be a babysitter. Kari! Where have you been? What are you doing with the princesses? Oh, dear little Zaz. <laughs> I didn't even see you there. You've certainly grown. I'd love to catch up, talk about old times, but my obligations bind me. Farewell, dear sister. Wait! Ugh. This is only a tactical retreat. Uh, no! Stop this at once, princess! Damn those girls. They're always interfering in... Mr. Azufra, I have a proposal. Oh? Miss Arola isn't a bad person. She's not a rebel. She's just trying to work on a cure for Glass Lung. There is no cure for it. The only thing that even helps is the Empress's medicine. Everyone... She's healed people here in Sinisa already. We saw it. I can confirm. It is etched into my memory banks. Suppose for a moment that's true. What? First, we'll rescue her, and then we'll help complete the medicine. And we'll share it with you once we're done. In exchange for the medicine, can you drop the charges against her? And stop trying...
trying to arrest her? All right, girl. You have a deal. Bring me the medicine and I'll drop all charges. Come s So, what now? The logical next step is to follow them. I was so scared. medicine we need to go after her wait look that man in the future the kind the empress is using for her army the kind that attacked this based on what you've seen it appears the empress's medicine is causing this tra a clever and rather effective strategy also completely immoral this should be noted. Let's follow them. Maybe we can find out what they've done with Herola. They're heading east. Let's go! Shall we make a record of our adventure, Crispam? Nothing. Welcome. It's only two... That would be great. At your service. The heat. Welcome, welcome. We have the best equipment. Welcome, welcome. Shall we make a record of our adventure? I want to record. 